6 a.m. Good morning. Happy Thursday. It's already Thursday, Kaylee Custer. I'm Jeremy Rabe. Well, I'm Kaylee Custer, if you didn't already know. <laughs> Sorry, Kaylee. I just got... So This week, I'm telling you, I've had... It's been... Okay, you know when things are different? Yeah. It makes the week go by fast because you're always thinking. And this week, we've had people on vacation and people filling in. And it's just been fun because I like being on the edge of my seat, not knowing what's going to happen. A good old switcheroo. Yes. I love it. How's it been for you? Uh, good. I agree. It's already Thursday, and it kind of feels like a Tuesday. Almost. I know. Can you believe it's already almost the weekend? It downhill slope. Right. It's. The, I didn't say uphill today. <laughs> you didn't I say said uphill. downhill. I, got I was right. like, Kaylee, we're on the downhill slope to the weekend. That's what it is. But see, I always thought it was more like it's an it's uphill because you're getting to the action of the weekend. I see what you're saying. I hear you. I acknowledge you, as my therapist would tell me but to it's say. Wrong. I don't agree. Because to me, it's like when you're on the roller coaster and you get to the peak and then you're sliding down to have some fun. And the weekend I associate with fun. Okay. That's just what I'm saying. Makes hey, sense by, to me. by the way, Kaylee Custer got great response on our real time wreath we made yesterday, uh -huh. Community Craft. And I got a photo from my Aunt Becky in Austin, Texas yesterday. Okay. She, she made the same wreath? No, she actually made our salad that we made on Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. The BCT salad. I'm, I'm in my living room and I get a text from Aunt Becky who loves to watch our show online. That's how she can watch it in Austin. And she goes, Jeremy, I just made your BCT salad that you and Kaylee made and it is so delicious. I have the leftovers in the fridge. Thank you for all the great recipes. And that was her picture? That was her picture. Because it looks exactly like ours. Yeah. Did she do anything better. different? Um, oh, let me read her text and see. Here, fill time, Kaylee, talk while I read. Aunt Becky's text. Well, I really like the bacon, and I especially appreciated how you cooked the bacon. Even though it was pre-cooked, you cooked it again to give it that extra crunch. Thank you. I acknowledge you. And by the way, no, she just said, uh, thanks for all your great recipes. This is my BCT salad. It's chilling now. I love you. I love you too, Aunt Becky. Ooh, chilling. So you, you would chill it? Well, see, the recipe that we had said serve immediately. Yeah. That was on the recipe. Now, do I think letting the flavors marinate in the fridge a little bit? I think that would be delicious. I agree. I agree. This is all I know. I went back for like thirds. You had how many helpings? Two. Beth Vanello, I know, had two. Beth, you had two, right? Three. Three! <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> it I mean, is we, so fi good. we about finished the whole bowl. Uh, it was, oh, it was gone, I think, by the time. Didn't? Or did I have to? I don't remember. But anyway, it was so delicious. Yeah. So delicious. And I might make it this weekend. You know what, I may too. And by the way, you got to tune in tomorrow because Kaylee and I will be outside at the gazebo tomorrow, second hour. Mm -hmm. We're going to be grilling your Cajun corn. Ooh. <laughs> Beth is already excited about tomorrow. <laughs> Cajun corn. And on a Monday show, you, you heard us talking about watermelon, salt or no salt. So tomorrow, not only are we going to taste the watermelon with salt or no salt, we're also going to grill some watermelon. We're going to get wild. It's getting crazy up in here. It's summertime. I'm so excited because I don't know if I, you know, I don't like watermelon. Yeah. So I don't know how I'm going to like it. I think you will. I think this will be the deciding factor that you end up liking it. One more factor. Grilled with salt or without. See, I've never had watermelon grilled, and I didn't know that that was a thing. So, I oh, guess... Oh, wait, wait. I guess okay. <laughs> Heather Lewis is right here, patiently no. awaiting, but she's giving her feedback. We, we tried to grill it this, this summer, just trying something new. I wasn't a fan, and I love watermelon. I like it juicy and running all down your mouth. It's great. But is, it, is it because it gives it that smoky flavor? It gives it the smoky flavor. It's yeah. kind of like eating a popcorn jelly bean. It's like not the right consistency. You know, it's the wrong texture it's for me. It's too different. So too Heather, different. Can I ask you what your prep was? Did you just take the watermelon and throw it on the grill, or what did you My do? My husband did it, but yeah, that's all we did. And okay. I've never tried it with salt, so I don't, I can't comment on that. I'm going to try to find the recipe I told you. Facebook popped up this recipe. I think they're listening to us all the time, Heather, by the yeah, way. I know. I agree. They're listening. And Alexa. I think there was something you spread. They really are. You <laughs> spread it over the watermelon before you put it on. I don't know what it was. It was olive oil. Or like okay. a syrup, like a maple syrup would be good because it would add the coconut sweetness. oil. Coconut oil. Yeah, that's sweet. I thought too. Maybe instead of just slapping it on the grill, maybe you can uh, wrap it in tin foil to where it won't get as smoky. Hmm. hmm. Maybe so. You don't get the lines on it and everything. Right. Yeah. What if we try seven different ways tomorrow, Kaylee? Sounds good. <laughs> try it. Beth and let Heather me try know it. what works. Yeah. Right. I won't be here tomorrow, so you gotta <laughs> let me know. I want the feedback. I have to watch, I guess. Yes. And I know you have. I'm. I didn't really peek, but I kind of peeked because your headlines today. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about your first headline, Heather. 
I kind of thought you might be. I, I so wondered. Excited. I wondered if we were still on the same wavelength. We're still there, Heather. We're still there. We're okay. still there. I know David Oliver, if he's watching at home, will love this one too. I have texted David Oliver about this before. We, 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 we talk about this. This is one of our favorite all time shows, The Golden Girls, and the iconic home on The Golden Girls just hit the market. What? Take a look at it. Beautiful, That's way right? better than the one on the show, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So it was just really the facade used for the show. Um, this is actually located in Brentwood, LA, not Miami, mm -hmm. which David Oliver actually taught me as well. We, we play <laughs> trivia together sometimes during the commercial breaks. Um, so this is on the market for $3 million. It is four bedrooms and Basically, uh, the, the people who owned it passed away, so the trust is putting it up for sale now. They, of course, did a remake of this house, put it on the Disney um, studios, and that's where they did it from there on out. And what makes me seasons. sad, Heather, is the... So they used that house, the actual house, the facade for the mm -hmm. first season. Just the first, yeah. Just the first season, and the front of it looks like the Golden Girl house. Mm -hmm. They built it on the lot, and it used to be on the tours, and then in 2003, they tore it down. What were they thinking? They didn't think that the Golden Girls would be as iconic as it is. Obviously, they weren't Maybe thinking not. it. Maybe not. Yeah, but man, I, I, I literally have the entire DVD collection. It's Guess what just, I watch I every Sunday it. while I'm just like doing things around the house? The Golden, the Golden Girls. Girls. It's comfort. It is, and I'm waiting for it to be on some type of streaming service. It is on streaming service. It's what? on Hulu. Which one? It's on Hulu. I just got rid of Hulu like a month ago. It That's is horrible. on Hulu. I was <laughs> okay. going to tell you, you can have it there commercial free just playing on Okay, Hulu. yeah. I still got to resort back to the DVDs, which, you know, <laughs> doesn't help when I'm, I'm multitasking and moving right. around the house. So, okay, might have to pick that streaming awesome. service back up. I'd say it's worth it. All right. For the Hulu. Speaking of being worth it. This one lady had the surprise of a lifetime because she went to the gas station and was going to get her favorite lottery ticket. They were out of it, so she was kind of bummed about that. But she picked a replacement, won $250,000. Happened in what? South Carolina, Wait, so what? not too bad, right? So she had a favorite like type of game she played? She like did, and they were out, because apparently a lot of people <laughs> like that one. And she was like, man, what am I going to do? So she just picked one won $250,000. Talk about a lucky day, huh? No kidding. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Have you guys ever, do you guys play the lottery regularly or do you have a favorite game like she has? I, I don't play regularly. Um, back in my first couple years in news, um, we had a newsroom that there was a gas station like literally a block away. So we would all take trips to the gas station and every now and then we would try our luck and we never got lucky. Never. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was one like, time, all right, man. One time I won, uh, an extra play so you can just bring in your card and mm -hmm. then get another one. And I thought it was going to be like the dollar ones, but it ended up being a $5 one. So oh. I guess oh, yeah. there's some. I have bought them for like there. stocking stuffers oh. and, you know, white elephant gifts and stuff like that. And they're, they're usually a big hit. Heather, can I also just say here again, because my Aunt Beth, mm -hmm. every year, because she has so many nieces and nephews, every year for Christmas, she gives all the nieces and nephews lottery tickets. Yep. Grandma does that to us, too. <laughs> Here's the lottery tickets. <laughs> Hope you win. It's always fun. Yeah, it's always fun. It's an inexpensive gift that could pay off. It right? could. Yeah. It yep. could pay off. <laughs> Very yeah. well could. Obviously, oh. as, you just, as we just saw. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Maybe, okay, let's just... Let's pull our money. We'll go buy a lottery ticket. We'll scratch it off tomorrow, see what happens. Right. Just okay. to see. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Maybe the watermelon will get lucky, too. Yeah. Maybe a little hot uh, to where we're not exactly winning the lottery in the weather department. Oh, uh, we're not. How's that weather, Beth? It's, it is hot. You know, I also get lottery tickets for Christmas. My first Christmas here, I went to Dan Lucy's house for Christmas because I couldn't go home. And I got a lottery ticket from them, and I won five bucks. <gasps> hey. Yeah. Lucky Beth. I was pretty excited about that. <laughs>